So I previously made a tutorial on how to get uh, models from SketchUp um, Warehouse into Flight Simulator 2020 but um, I found an even easier way of doing it before you had to go through Blender, do all the baking and all that but now with this method everything is straightforward so this is um, a model of the Ahmed Hori Tower in Dubai that I got from the SketchUp Warehouse so all I need to do as usual just delete everything else from the scene um, explode all the components of the scene so remember the last tutorial I did took like what 10-15 minutes to do each one this one you can get it done in like 5 minutes so all you need to do now is just export this as a DAE as a Collada DAE file and then on the options make sure everything is um, selected on the export texture maps and everything is selected here if you have hidden geometry you might want to select that so we'll export this as a DAE and then we're going to open up model converter X I'll link it in the description for those that want to get and then once you open up model converter X you are going to go over here to import and then we'll um, select DAE from this place here and then we'll import our model that we just exported right now and it has imported it into model converter x so it's really straightforward from here all you need to do is open up the material editor up here and while well, luckily this doesn't have a lot of um, textures some models you might have hundreds of textures but that's not a problem anyways you go over here to draw calls and then you predict the draw calls for the model so just give it a second to load and then you can see it told us you had three textures before and then it's reduced it to two textures so you can see the three textures before and then once we minimize the draw calls here yeah, it changes everything to two textures and then what you can do is resize all the textures you can see that um, this texture is 628 by 657 you need to resize that to a power of 2 so it has resized it to 512 by 512 so all you need to do now is just um, save this texture in our model live texture folder as usual and then copy the address there and just space it you can open here and navigate to your folder but i just use that method instead and then we'll save it as a png and then we'll save the textures also just um make sure there's no um in the render mode make sure it's not translucent make sure make sure it's opaque because it doesn't really handle um models that have um translucency and opacity in the same model so just make sure everything is opaque here and if you have nice textures add them but we don't have any nice textures yet so basically just export this now as a gltf just select gltf from the drop down here and save the model and then we'll build the package so just build the package and once you build the package you start the same so i'm just gonna let this build take a few seconds to do that and then i'll open the same Alright, so back in the same, I'll open up our projects now. So, open up Dubai. And then we'll open it up in the inspector and then we'll load in editor. So, um, I'm not really sure where the building is supposed to be. Um, I think it's one of these here. So, let me just create an exclusion polygon for that entire area. Just so we can see the auto beneath so I will exclude everything yeah I think it's this one over here so we'll go ahead and we'll open up the scenery and search for our object and you can see now even with all the textures everything converts into the same perfectly with no issues so I'm planning on doing everything in Dubai basically I have all the all the files ready to go so I'm basically going to cover the entire Dubai it's all all of this you see doing this it takes what like two three minutes for each model the only thing is like doing the night textures and all that that's what will actually take a while but just getting the models themselves into the same doesn't take long at all so this is basically just what I wanted to show you guys on um, how to do and that's it.